like this would be a great time to start the Rep Tour Detroit vlog. So, <laughs> I hate myself. I have this tiny hand and I want to draw a 13 on it. So, I got a Sharpie and some nail polish and glitter. So, let's go, bitch. That was a weak ass burp. Um, I forgot that I was supposed to vlog today and then somebody sent me a message and was like, you need to vlog today, but don't burp in it. So I'm going to burp in it just for you. Anybody else drink the milk from their cereal bowl or is it just me? <clears throat> that was for you and on. So let's go. I see taste of today and I'm going to combust. Okay. So let me give you like a little low, run low, low down, run down. I look tan. Wow, okay. Teresa gets off work at three and she's gonna come here. And then I think Sarah also gets off work around three and then Sarah's driving. So all the three of us are gonna drive from here to Detroit, which is like an hour, over an hour. Honestly, I don't really know. So I sh it's like noon now, so I should probably start like getting my shit together. Um, because I need to do my hair, but Teresa's is supposed to bring me the hair straightener because she moved out and she took it with her But like I, I need it. So she said she dropped it off before work, but I just feel like she's not gonna do that <laughs> So I don't I really don't want to curl it because it's like sticky out and my hair frizzes when it's curled and it's sticky out so I don't know what to do <coughs> I'm not gonna cut that out. Okay, bye also, I don't think I ever said this, and like you, I probably don't need to say it because it's in the title of the freaking video. But we're going to see Taylor Swift today on the Reputation tour. None of you are surprised. Okay, now I'm going. <laughs> I just finished my hair. I curled it. Um, I know I said I didn't want to because it would frizz, but I didn't have another option. So yeah. Also, look what I'm bringing. I drew a fucking 13 on it because I hate myself, so. Yeehaw. I just, you know how I was saying earlier that, like, I don't have foundation? Well, now I'm kind of stressed out that I don't have a foundation that matches me right now because, uh, I have a lot of shit to cover. Also, I'm so anxious, so. <sighs> Should be fun. <laughs> I thought I freaking hit record and I didn't. I just talked, like. For five minutes and I didn't get any of it, so. <coughs> wow, okay. I just stuck my tongue out during that. That was probably really gross. Sorry. Just talked to Aaron and that. I'm feeling pretty anxious, pretty anxious, um, tying my shoes. Um, yeah, I'm pretty anxious. And part of me was like, just don't go. Like, because you're just going to be anxious. Don't go. Um, and then, the, like, the other part of me, like, the realistic part of me was like, bitch, go. Like, you can't miss this. You let your anxiety let you miss nashville um like you can't miss this too because this is my last show like i don't get to see her again so i was like no bitch you're going like n next yeah feeling really anxious um i'm excited though because like so many people are going and like i want to meet people um but i'm just really anxious and it sucks because usually like i like i always have anxiety but usually it goes away at concerts because concerts are like my safe space, my happy space. I need to put on deodorant. Um, but lately, I'm just, I, I'm anxious anyway when I'm at concerts and it sucks because usually concerts are the place where I can forget about everything and I'm happy. But lately it's just been bad there too. I'm gonna get lipstick on my fucking chin. So, is it weird that I use Old Spice? I'll show you my outfit in a hot sec, just like uh On a fuck ton of deodorant. Old Spice Classic. So it's not like super strong. Um, I'm performing emergency surgery on my tiny hand because the glitter came off. So, fuck. And Sarah just got here, so like we're supposed to leave, but Teresa's not even home yet. So, everything's going great. Coming! Oh, it's open. Okay, so here's my problem. Yeah, okay, Teresa's not here. I know. Okay. I'm also vlogging. <laughs> I'm performing surgery on my tiny hand. Okay, so I want to wear these shorts because it's hot. What's up, gamers? Okay. Um, Chase gave me a, a lipstick on my chin. We're on our way to Ford Field. 
I got my tiny hand. I forgot nail polish though because I was going to put it on Sarah's, but I forgot it. So we're going great. Say hello. 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 Sarah's driving. Um. <laughs> okay, bye. I want barricade so I can. <laughs> it's so annoying. Vlog. You need that. You're all nice. You are so fake. Say hello. Hi. Hello yourself. I'm Sophia. I'm Wait, Chris. Yeah. Avocado Swift on Twitter. I'm totally irrelevant. <laughs> I'm here for uh, Camila Cabello. Interesting, interesting. Say Marty, hi! Hi! <laughs> hi, vlog. Um, okay, update. I just spent an hour in the first aid tent, so that was fun. Um, they like took care of me, and I had to like drink a bunch of Gatorade water. And then we had like a mass med session. Still pretty anxious, but they helped a lot. They were the sweetest people. Um, at Ford Field, give them a raise. So now I'm waiting for Teresa and Sarah, and we're gonna go sit in the in our seats in 300. So, hello. Hey. I just met oh my God. This a is queen. <laughs> Name Anthony. We we love a snake. We love, we love a, snake. a snake. Oh my our God. Favorite snake. No fun fact. I used to follow her like three years ago. And I'm freaking out because it's like I've never met someone from online like this. Like I don't like I know you don't know me, but like I feel like I know you. But that's so weird to say. No, no, no! I, so I get it. I get it. I yeah. get it. Anyways, yeah. He's told me for three years, and I'm annoying online. So like that's dedication. No, like I I was literally walking around looking for a water fountain to fill this up, and I was like, she looks so familiar. <laughs> like that's so weird. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, promo yourself. What's your Twitter and Insta? <laughs> it's Anthony Anthony Sprung 22. Hit him up, ladies! <laughs> We just came in a different like way. Is there an elevator down there? Is there an elevator down there? I don't think there'll be an elevator till like the main level. Um, I had to be wheeled out. My anxiety's fucking bad, which sucks because like I wanted to see the show and I feel bad because Teresa can't get back in now. She keeps telling me not to feel bad, but like I feel really bad. Fuck off, it's fine. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna fucking post this vlog. She's about to do the secret song too. Fuck. Hi vlog. Um, I'm home now. I'm in Trace's old room. Um, I thought I would just kind of do like an update and like explain everything and like what happened just because the clips before this are probably like really like sporadic. Um, so basically we got to the show we got to the venue around like five-ish and I was pretty anxious already just because 
I don't usually get like really anxious at concerts. Usually concerts are my safe space and I'm okay at concerts. But my anxiety has just been so bad lately that I'm just anxious all the time. And so we got to the venue-ish to the, around, got to the venue around five-ish and I took one of my anxiety pills that usually calms me down. So I was like, I'm gonna take it now so that it's not worse later. So I'm pretty anxious and stuff. We get in, we go on the floor, we meet up with a bunch of our friends and I meet a bunch of people. Um, and it was fun. I, I had a lot of fun like meeting so many people and I got to see my friends, which was so exciting. And me and Teresa and Sarah have, have been friends for 16 years. And Sarah's the reason that Teresa and I listened to Taylor. And so we got to finally see her together, kind of. Um, but after that, in my, meeting up with friends, um, my anxiety just started getting like way worse. And my body just started shaking so bad. Like, it, like I could not stop shaking. So Teresa went up to a security guy and was like, hey, like my sister's having a bad anxiety attack. Like she goes sit like the back of the floor, like against the wall, just so like she can calm down. He's like, yeah, of course. So I just sat up against the wall like at the back of the floor, like trying to compose myself. I was trying to do like muscle stretches. What, baby? Come here. Hi. Hi. Do you want to come say hi? Yeah, come here. You want attention or not? Um, so I sat at the back of the floor for a few minutes and then these two workers come up and they have a wheelchair and they like asked if I was okay and I was like, yeah, like I don't think it's anything major. It's just like I'm, my anxiety is just really, really bad. Um, they were like, well, let's just take you to the first aid booth. Um, that way you can sit back there. It's a little bit more quiet. They can like take your vitals and you can get some like something to drink. I was like, okay, so they wheeled me back backstage to the first aid section, and I think I was probably back there for like an hour, maybe. It, I think it was like at least an hour. Um, and they were really, really sweet. All of them were so great. Like, they, I would die for all, all of them. They deserve a raise. Um, they took my vitals, and my blood pressure was like pretty high. <laughs> um, so they like got me some Gatorade. They had me like sit up on the table asked me a bunch of stuff like all about my meds and um they like kind of gave their input which was really nice and then they asked her like isn't like what's going on in your life like what do you think like triggered it and I was like I don't know like Teresa and I are like going through a lot of personal family stuff but um like my anxiety's just been heightened in general lately which sucks because usually I'm okay at a concert so we had like a mass like therapy vent session with them and they were so nice they were the sweetest people and they gave, gave us a they gave us a pep talk what come here midnight is wild now are you good no she says where's Teresa she knows that Teresa's gone yeah we had like a mass vent sesh like me Teresa Sarah and the nurses and the doctor and they were so sweet and then they they like wanted me to leave the concert like they didn't want me to stay but I was like I think I'm gonna try to stay because I don't want to miss it and like I feel bad if Teresa and Sarah would have to miss it so they're like okay but they really just did not want me to stay um so they wheeled me off um so they wheeled us up to our section and midnight relax honey you're fine. Um, they wheeled us to our section, and then Teresa and Sarah were waiting in the merch line, and I was like off at the side. So I thought I was feeling like a little bit better, so then we went back to our seats. Our seats were in the 300s. I was still pretty anxious, but I was like, I want to push through it. Like, I want to be here for the show. So she comes on, she does ready for it, and I did something bad, and I was like dancing dancing around for that and like screaming because I couldn't not and then after like when Gorgeous started I just sat down and like it just got so much worse like I don't know what it was um but like I was so shaky and lightheaded and just I just did not feel good so I left I need you to like relax please like once stop it's her witching hour.
You're fine. So I left the, our seating area after during Gorgeous, and I just went and sat by like a Miller Lite booth, um, and I cried a little bit because I was so frustrated. And then Teresa and Sarah came out, and they're like, "What do you want to do?" And I started sobbing because, like, I didn't want to leave. One because like I wanted to stick it out, and two because like I didn't want to make them leave. Um, and so they went back in to watch it, and I just kind of chilled out side trying to compose myself. Um, and then, like, it just got, it was just so bad, and I felt like complete crap. So, um, they, one of the security guys came over with a wheelchair, and he wheeled me out, um, like, during Delicate, I think it was. So I missed the surprise song, which ended up being Jump the Fall, so I'm, like, really sad. But yeah, so I got wheeled out, and then we walked up to our parking ramp, which luckily was really, really close. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. It wasn't like like life or death thing, but it was just like a terrible anxiety, and it sucks that I ruined the concert. Um, and I'm sad, and I feel bad for Teresa and Sarah having to leave, but yeah, just so. A little story time for you. Glad I got to meet a bunch of people and take pics and stuff before shit hit the fans. So um, I'm sorry this vlog didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but keeping it real with you. I'm sorry <laughs> that this isn't like the best vlog, but um, I love you guys and thank you so much to everyone that checked on me and like cared so much. Um, it makes me really happy. I would literally die for all of you and I'll sound like a man. Are you on crack? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna peace out and try to calm my cat down, but I love you guys and anxiety sucks ass. So sometimes if you're dealing with really bad anxiety, sometimes you have to make the hard decision to take care of yourself first and whether it's leaving a concert or deciding not to go. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for being the best and caring about me so much. And I'll see you in my next video.